So let's get rid of the drawings and continue with the feed channel. So the feed channel is basically a train channel. You again have the lower area with the manipulators and you have now an upper manipulator where you can set the width of the channel. With a right click you can define the values which are shown so you can get rid of some of those lines if you want to and have it exactly fit your needs. Then you have the free spiral. You can have uh, spirals inside the chart now. Um, as we have the fixed axis ratio on here, this spiral is also uh, fixed and doesn't change the, the points all the time. So you can decide to have it clockwise or counterclockwise. It will tell you possible important points to watch out for where the intersections of the spiral arms are. You find a lot of details on all these Fibonacci and Phi tools in the books of Robert Fisher. Now let's go to the next one. Let's go to Fibonacci corrections. Now these are the typical Fibonacci corrections which we know. So you connect a top and a bottom and you can, for example, define for yourself if I have a retracement back of 50%, then I will buy. So we have bought here and taken up the, the, back, the, the counter trend. So as I promised, I said I will um, maybe play a, with a little, play a little with the ratios. So if you go to the 38 and say, okay, we change it to a nice red. Then we see this is now colored in red. We could also create new ratios and so on, but uh, let's not do this now. We want to extend this to the right because then we can see it better. And now we can see our Fibonacci analysis extended and with our own colors. Next one is the Fibonacci extensions. So the extensions look pretty much the same get the chart a little bigger. So connect the high and low and then you can say okay these are Fibonacci extensions they will simply add to the initially drawn distance. You can have also an alternative starting point so this is quite a flexible tool. Now the Fibonacci time goals. Again, you can connect a high and a low. And then in fixed ratios, the vertical lines are drawn to show you possible important points. Then the Fibonacci arcs. So they can be used similar to the spiral. So you can again connect top bottom, then you see important points in your chart. As you can see, the system remembered my red line. So at 38, uh, so at 38, my line is still drawn in red. You can have a full circle if you want to. Let's take a look at the next one, and if Fibonacci fan lines like the Fibonacci retracements but instead of having horizontal ones you connect them from the starting point and then Fibonacci time zones and the time zones are a fixed cycle detector in the phi ratios and if the line where you had this and you have support and resistance line which are horizontal ones which you can drag in the chart delete. Then we have vertical lines which we can place in the chart. They will, they will show us the date optionally if you want to and I think that's it. Then we have regression lines 
where we can have automatic calculation of the of the average value of these prices. We have the same for the regression channel, which will uh, plot either a standard deviation around the regression line or any, we can make it smaller, for example, like that. And quite interesting to know is they also support signals. So if you activate signals for this and recalculate, and then it will also buy and sell. When it breaches the top, it will buy. When it breaches the bottom, it will sell. Delete this. Next drawing tool is the trend channel. Pretty much the same as the feed channel without the extensions. So you have your trend channel. Then we can have gun lines. The gun is using the apes. So we have a lot of drawing tools now relying on apes of certain and then we've gun angles, which are can also define which ones to show in the right-click menu. We can add another one, delete them, okay. Then we have the gun box. Gun box is an analysis tool, uh, also described in the books of gun. Um, you can have extensions of this box, so you can have horizontal extensions, and then this moves along. You can also have vertical extensions, so you have three, so you have three vertical extensions, two horizontal ones. So the Fibre Trader lets you do it all. Depending on your style of analysis and trading, you can find something in the software which fits your needs. We have the Android Pitchfork. The Pitchfork has one restriction. You cannot change the angle of this line. So this is because all our drawing tools rely on basically three points on two points, more to say. So they have a start and an end point, and then they have manipulators. But this manipulator can only have one value, so it's the distance value. Then we can draw plain text here, and say, maybe here, uh, name is text, let's give it a better name. Let's say, um, important low so we can drag it around we can in the parameter section set it also to, uh, to bold and to italics just as we like we can change the font and the size so that's the idea behind text we have a rectangle the rectangle is to highlight things or to count things so you can highlight something with the rectangle, but it will also automatically count from the start to the end what the range is vertically, what the volume, the accumulated volume is, how many bars are in here, how many days this is, and how many signals are in the rectangle. So you can use it as a statistics tool as well. Then we have a cycle tool where you can plot cycles on your chart and they will have all the fixed distance of now 15 bars. We have an arrow where you can point out important, uh, important things. Next one are time price labels. Um, time price labels show you a little label and the value is taken from the first point. So you have a little label from this point, then you can have a time price label to this point. And what happens as soon as you draw the second time price label, it will show you the distance between those two. So if you change it, the distance increases, decreases, and also the, the change. So you can have some statistics here in your chart, and this one relies now on this one. So 
they always take the one which is precedent. Now, as you have seen, it is, I'm positioning the prices sometimes manually. So if I actually want to snap it to the close, I can hold down the shift key. And as you will see, it will snap to the exact close, not just to where I think the close would be, but to the exact value. There we go. Right click and we are zoom out again. Then we have the price square, which is using basically three points and extending the parallel. Then we have an arc where we can highlight things which we uh, think are important. Um, the interesting thing is if you are above the chart, then it will close, then we'll draw an arc which is close to the top. If you are below the chart, it will draw an arc which is close in the bottom. So if you move, if you move it up and down, you will see it will change dynamically. So you can highlight important things with the arc. And last but not least is a very powerful drawing tool. You can, for example, point out important locations to buy and sell. And the neat thing is they can also create signals. So if you activate signals for those, then you actually get a little buy signal, which will influence your strategy. So let's say you buy here. When you click below the chart, you buy. When you click above the chart, you sell. So here you sell. Okay, activate the signals for this as well. And now you can actually see how the system calculates also the results. So these are real signals, which you can simply draw. And you can use it to illustrate a strategy to customers or to other people. Let's get rid of all the drawing tools. And this ends the section with the drawing tools for now.